So over, I don't know, a few, a few weeks, I started to notice that I was uh, kind of having issues swallowing. Um, a bit like hiccup, not really hiccups, but a bit like that kind of muscle spasms uh, in, uh, in the esophagus. And um, I went and saw my GP and we had a conversation about it. And, you know, we talked about, you know, eating habits and things like that. And we agreed that it would, um, you know, it might just go, might be something that would go away of its own accord. But if it was still there in a couple of weeks time, go back and see him. So I did. And over the next two weeks, it got probably a little worse. I went back and saw him. Uh, and at that point, he said, OK, look, there's a number of things it could be. But the first thing we want to do is to um, get a gastroscopy done. Uh, my advice to anybody who's concerned about symptoms with eating or swallowing is to go to your GP and uh, talk to them about it. There are many causes for um, these kinds of symptoms of which esophageal cancer is not actually that common, but nevertheless it is one of the cancers that early diagnosis ha has a massive impact on the outcome.